o'clock. I hate puppies. It's a good podcast. I feel threatened. Trick or treat. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast dedicated to solving first world problems in a time of honest to God problems all over. <laughs> it's great to see you. Today is probably one of the more first world situations we've got. We, uh, we actually have Ray from Spirit Halloween here today. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to get into this because I doubt there's there's a lot of countries that are in the third world that have Halloween stores that <laughs> pop up for just they a couple should. months. Oh, they right. should. Absolutely. Yeah. That's should. why they're third world. They get their shit together. Is right. Canada considered third world? we got a couple stores in Canada. It's on the verge. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I believe second world countries have Halloween stores. Right. Okay. They're just not as good as Spirit. No. You see, that's Absolutely. the problem. <laughs> they get that low rent crap, and I, I can't have that. So thank you so much for joining us tonight, man. This is uh, obviously timely. We're into October. Tis the season. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's cold outside, and girls are wanting to put on less clothes. That's Halloween in a nutshell. Yeah. I <laughs> Actually, I said tis the season because if you go to any Home Depot now, they got the Christmas crap out. They really jumped the gun. That's it's insane. It, it, it makes me sick. I saw a bunch of Halloween stuff at, at the Lowe's this weekend. Halloween? Yeah, they had Halloween. Yeah, but stuff. I'm saying they're still cr- they're, they're already putting Christmas stuff out in some of these places. Yeah, that's that's ludicrous. The trees start coming up much faster these days, for sure. It is. It's a little odd how yeah. how early that stuff comes out. Ray must hate that. That must be a, a smack in the face to all the Halloween lovers. To out the there. good seasons, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when I see the spirits start to come in, the banner goes up, then it's yeah. like, that's a good sign fall is coming. What what I hate is when the pumpkin beers show up in, like, early August, late yeah, July, and right. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Oktoberfest beers now, this is offensive. Oh, it's not official till Starbucks brings in the pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice <laughs> latte. <laughs> yeah, I've never I had one of those, things. ever. I don't I'm pretty think excited you're about anything. that. Yeah. Never I had should a get a trophy, I feel like. You should get a pumpkin spice latte. They're tasty. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I, I will be the basic bitch. I do not care. I like a pumpkin spice latte. We know. Latte. We expected yeah. you to be the basic bitch. Can't you see him riding around with a scarf and his Miata with a top down yeah. on Chris Fall Day with a pumpkin spice exactly. latte? Exactly. Blowing little, the little hole. Yeah. <laughs> little, foam, little foam mustache. Yeah. Right. Cruising around. Exactly. Cruising for boyfriends. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> That's how I roll, dude. Basically. You two are going to have to sit on each other's laps because this is a (laughs) two-seater. But you're coming home with me. Doesn't bother me. I like pumpkin spice latte. (laughs) (laughs) It's a tasty treat, man. It really is. My wife, like, years ago brought one home one day. She was like, it's pumpkin spice time. And I was like, why would I drink that? That's, oh, my. Yeah. Like, it's. It's just nutmeg, right? Isn't that what pumpkin spice is? Nutmeg? I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm not a big fan of nutmeg. I know that much. I don't know. I'm, I'm not big, that, so I go for like the pumpkin rolls. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. man. Pumpkin. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin beers. Neither are you, right, Ray? Not a big fan of a pumpkin beer. Yeah. We, we've had a few that we've tried over the years that we've enjoyed, but most of them aren't done right. I actually have the third installation of the same pumpkin beer I try every year here Atomic today. Atomic pumpkin? Yeah. Atomic pumpkin. We like mm. that one, right? That's a good one. Yeah, but every year it's a little different. It's either more spicy or less spicy. We'll 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 get into it a little more down the is road. But I thought, what's more fitting yeah. than, than when Ray is here to at least show you a pumpkin beer that I think might might be different enough that you'll be like, okay, that's something different, and you might like it. So we'll we'll see. We'll you'll see. have to wait. Like I'll tell minutes. you that uh, Strange Ways. I don't know. Can we talk about? Oh, that? Yeah. oh yeah, Strange Ways. Yeah. I love a, Strange Ways. They have a really good pumpkin stout that they really? do every Ooh. year. Yeah. Ooh, that mm. sounds all right. Yeah, I like that. Stuff. I like a lot of their goes. Their sour beers. They make good sour beers over there. They could. Uh, they could get a better facility. I, a lot of those places are in those industrial parks, and they suck. But and they, they were like, like early. Yeah, they, yeah, they, were, right, early. they were early. They were early. Well. Are you talking about the one that's not in Scott's Edition? Because I have a new one in Scott's Edition. Oh, Scott's there's a new one? Ed- yeah, yeah, Scott's well, Edition. The one in Scott's Edition is pretty cool. So. Okay. I haven't right been to that one. Arden. Yeah. I haven't been to Scott's Edition in quite a while, especially since the COVID thing, but I know it's blown up since... The what mm-hmm. thing? 
the COVID thing. Have oh, you heard about COVID? this? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get out much. Yeah. Or turn on the TV. At all. <laughs> I was down there yesterday. The uh, new wood and iron opened up. Not a bad location. Yeah, I'm pretty psyched for them to have Really? That. Where's that? Scott's Edition? Yeah. Wow. They put I it had no in idea. That, that old infuse, <laughs> Infusion nightclub location. Okay. It's like right when you come off the highway, like you're looking at it, and it just looks like a place you'd get stabbed. And oh, was yeah. it all around it? Was the fuck? Like that was the ice bar. Yeah, that yeah. was the ice bar. Yeah, was ice bar. It was the ice bar, then it became Infusion. Did you ever go there club. when it was the ice bar thing? No. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fusion's where you got married, isn't it? No, 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 no. I, <laughs> the reception, I mean. I got married in a church, like a grown-up. <laughs> Whatever. Had, where would we party afterwards? I had a reception at the Holiday Inn. No. no, no Vision. No, no, no. Vision. Vision. Which was oh, in the basement man. of the Holiday Inn. <laughs> of the Holiday Inn. <laughs> yes, because. Hotel, no, motel, no. Holiday Inn. I am a You're classy, classy man. Yeah, you yeah. Are. Classy man. That place. I'm also frugal. Right. Frugal. I thought, ooh, Holiday Inn. Don't mind if I do. Well, you start the wedding off classy. Then you get a few drinks and you're like, let's go to Vision. <laughs> Which is now a double tree. So I can always say I did the reception at Double Tree. That sounds a lot better yeah, it does. than a Holiday Inn. You try to church like, it up, man. Oh, I don't. I Look, I walked right into that. I'm a Holiday Inn guy. That was a real nice. <laughs> real nice. My I've wife, been back there once and it was the same shithole. <laughs> Dude, that, that Visions nightclub, though, is fantastic. That if you're a like, lady over 50. <laughs> yeah. But I remember my So wife, then you're it's good. It's old school, like, tobacco <laughs> company. So, yeah, so, it is like old school tobacco yeah. company. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a shithole, but it's the best kind. The best kind. I remember we almost got in a fight in there on my wedding night. I mean, that I've got a right. woman in a damn wedding dress. And people are like talking smack to like all of us are in suits. Like and they trying could to not, press up on her? No, they just couldn't handle the fact that we would have. We own suits. Oh, yeah. You know, they were, they were furious about it. And they yeah. Were, they were talking smack. These guys think they're fancy. <laughs> yeah. Well, at one point, my buddy Armando, he's like 400 pounds. I remember he just walked up to a guy and he was like, You're not going to like how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy just kind of backed up. I was like, Thanks, Armando. I'll go back to having shots. Like, it was. It's an interesting, interesting night. I remember they made my wife put on shoes, though. They, so they do have some level of a dress. She should have wanted to wear shoes in that rat oh, dump. I don't yeah. know what she was thinking. Came down in a wedding dress, and like she was like, I'll get flip-flops out of the car. I was like, that's the least you could do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, how many of you guys have ever been to the place called Razzles? That's right over on Midlothian Turnpike. That place is so... <laughs> that was even worse Razzles. than Visions, I the, think. Where's Razzles? Razzles? I don't know anything uh, about uh, it. Oh. I remember <laughs> hearing commercials for it, but I don't remember. I don't think I've ever been over it's there. Been is years, it still though. there? Yeah, I don't know. It's been years since I've been in there. That's oh, it. Man. That's on the back side of the Best Western. Oh yeah, it's yeah. on the back side. Oh yeah, down on the bottom. Yeah. Oh man. So they used to have a jazz night, <laughs> like once <laughs> yeah. a week, and I've actually gone and seen some like really like well known names that like come into yeah. Richmond, and they're like, oh, Razzles. This is apparently the jazz club, and to get there, like, fuck. I'm in the back of a Best Western. And I'm, yeah. like, and I'm like, woo, I'm going to go see Branford Marsalis right. in a Best Western. Yeah. It's yeah. like crazy. It's a great location, right between Carpool and, you know. That's where it is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I the best less than a mile from there, oh, and I've yeah, never yeah. even known it was there. <laughs> you wouldn't have to Uber crazy. home. You could just walk. Right. You know? It's a good right. time. So it backs up to the trailer park that's oh, back yeah, there. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's yeah. Where the you just changed Troy's life. Yeah. That's my new jam. Right. You're going to love it. We can ride bikes up there, Brendan. We absolutely can. Because we used to ride bikes up to Shamrock Pub. It's just a little bit further. Yeah. And you can cut through the trailer park. And, That's right. You know, get some meth on the way. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Nothing goes with jazz. Like, a really upbeat attitude. <laughs> like, that trailer park, I had no idea. I lived here for years before I knew that thing was back there. I was like, wait, what? What's back here? I was like looking at a GPS or something. I was like, I drove through it one day during daylight hours. And I was like, holy crap, there's a trailer park back here. It's a classy trailer park. It backs up to one day a week jazz club. Well, it's a nice zip code to have a trailer park in. Like, if you're going to be in a trailer park, like, you can walk there. Where does right the there. James River line end? I think that trailer park feeds into it. Really? Yeah, I think it does. James River has a good a, a good kind of swath of yeah. humanity. Yeah, because yeah, I think just on the other side of Midlothian, which is the, I guess, on the Witten, you know, the Chevy Lexus side, is yeah. I think you start, start getting into Monacan. Oh, okay. 
not 100 percent sure but it's funny ray was like you know you guys sound like you just naturally have all these crazy topics you have seen now precisely how 10 minutes can just disappear <laughs> yeah we're just talking what about, we talking about? Yeah. Like, <laughs> these guys are geniuses <laughs> we're <literally> <laughs> 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 razzles and <laughs> yeah. razzles and getting meth at a trailer park <laughs> we, yeah we had ray on here talking about spirit and we've gone <laughs> yeah. trailer park meth talks <laughs> already completely went In five the, minutes you're yeah. welcome you don't have to get dressed up just go to the trailer park <laughs> Yeah, I mean, costumes galore. Let's get back to Ray. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. no, that's, that's that was me trying to segue back to the reason we're all here. Yeah, which is pumpkin spice lattes. Um, Ray yeah. invented the pumpkin spice latte <laughs> in the early '90s, and he parlayed that into a career at Spirit Halloween. Right. So, what do you do for Spirit Halloween? Uh, I'm the ops guy, so I work year round for Spirit Halloween. I start my season in December. After everything is done and over with, and I look for real estate, uh, find locations, uh, then start looking for people, and then come August, I uh, start opening locations, and then it just starts all over again. That close them down. So, do you get November off, or is November? No, kind so of November, a- like November is that weird month where you know November fifth is basically our last day of business, roughly, you know, plus or minus a few yeah. days, depending. And then I'm out of all the buildings by the fifteenth of November. Oh, all so you're are tearing shut down, down, tearing down. So oh, I got to get rid of all that stuff. So you're handling, you're handling logistics for all these places. Sure. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah. What's more brutal for you, the sales time or the setup and tear down time? Setup. Oh, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. So we set up stores within ten days. Oh, I mean, they want us to do it in nine. So and how some, many stores did you say there were? So we have fourteen hundred and two this year in Virginia. Not in Virginia. Oh, okay. Uh, roughly about fifty-five, fifty-seven stores in in Virginia. And you wow. just are you just in Virginia, or you do the you do all. 1400 of my my i'm only responsible okay. for virginia so wow. we have about 40 of us in our position that take care Dang. of different locations different areas wow yeah. Yeah. so then, every year you have to start over because I'm, I'm guessing sure. a lot of the places you go into you know they, they may be filled by the next year oh yeah it's like sure. you're finding vacant locations i'm assuming you get a fairly good deal because they don't have anyone there or is it like so oh, it's a pain to fight with someone. So we do have to fight a lot of times. I would imagine it's a ton of negotiations. I would imagine. lots of negotiation. Now I'm not in charge of that. We have our own real estate department. So those nice. guys do a great job. However, I've still got to go out. I've got to hit, pound the pavement and you know drive. Yeah, I put about fifty thousand miles a year on my car. Mm. So you're wow. researching the, the actual places. You're going to go put eyeballs on it. Yeah. So I got to go put eyeballs on it. I want. And sometimes I'll stand and look around and see. You know, maybe do some. You know, traffic counter or whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, but then. You know, you, you just have to guess sometimes on what you're going to do there. Yeah. Roll the um, dice. Roll the dice. But obviously with, you know, one man's loss and, you know, one man's garbage is somebody else's treasure. Yeah. We have, we've picked up AC Moores and we've picked up Pier 1s and we've oh, picked wow. up, you know, the HH Greggs and things like yeah. that. You know, as businesses close down, we try to jump in as fast as we can. Is your yep. biggest kickback the fact that it's short term? And they're, short they're, term, and we hand them a bag of fucking money. Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that's the, that's the right. best negotiation <laughs> possible. Sure. Funny do how that not, works. Do you not want a bag of money? Your, yeah. your place is empty. Is so you pay the rent up front. Oh, yeah. So generally, I mean, there obviously everybody has different terms, but yeah. generally. 60 day? Uh, 90. 90 about 90 day? days, yeah. Yeah, July, wow. sometimes July 1, July 15th, or November 15th, depending oh, okay. on you know what we how how long we need to negotiate it for. You ever um, run into a situation where a long-term lease showed up and ended up booting you last minute and you're oh, like sure. scrambling? We, yeah, no, one of the great things about some of the clauses that we have on our leases is that we do these kickouts, which is great. So um, we will sign a deal in March, right? And yep. then it, they can continue to look for a permanent tenant. Obviously, they want a five-year or 10-year lease. Oh, yeah. uh, and so if they're not in there by June, then we'll pick it up. You know, and then they'll yeah. somebody else will come in later on. Maybe oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's so. sweet. You have a clause in there, like they kick you out, they got to pay you a bunch of money. Cause no, not always, really. I mean, that we, would be kind of fun. You find a really hot spot, be like, it's never going to last, boss. I'm looking over here too. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you always have to have a backup, right? I mean, so yeah. you know, a couple of years ago, we were in the HH Greg over yeah. here, and then that kind of fell through. We had some people that wanted it, so they said no. But then the Toys R Us opens up, and so we're at the Toys R Us. That's right down the road. That's crazy. You know? That's perfect. Yeah. Well, that Toys R Us, not to like. This is a very micro conversation because it's one of like 60 units you're dealing with. But that Toys R Us is kind of an odd spot because it's not really – you can't see it from the road. Sure, right? sure. And I would think you typically want people to be able to see it from a major artery. Oh, absolutely. You know, we have a spot at Stony Point this year, which – Oh really? Is, really? Damn. Is, is struggles, you know? Stony Point struggle. Mall, the oh, mall. Oh yeah, the oh, mall. Yeah. We have the Dick Sporting Goods. So we have oh a big, yeah, we have a great big rock on the wall, and yeah. it's pretty That's cool. Kind of bad. Yeah. yeah. So it's thirteenth. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah, so cool. So it's pretty cool. But you know, it's not. It's not really 
well accessible. That poor mall has yeah. been struggling since the day yeah. it opened. I think yeah. they've had three owners over the years. Like it's sure. just, it's not doing that well. Well, you know, malls are struggling. You yeah, know, that brick and mortar retail is kind of a kind of one of those things that could could go away. I don't yeah. know if it will totally, but. We'll see. You know, we, our business is doing great. We, I was going to ask you. Know, you. Yeah, um, we're we're one of the largest temporary retailers in the world. Yeah. Wow. So, so, what percent of your business is e-com versus brick and mortar? Depends. You know, we can sell e-com all year round. I don't know exactly what it is, but we still do a lot of business year to year when it comes yeah. to e-com. But everybody wants to touch Halloween. Yeah. You know, yeah. we have these experiences. You guys have been into our location. Yeah. Oh, We've yeah. seen those displays that we do and some great stories behind uh, Mike, the one of our uh, visual guys who invented that kind of thing. But if we get into it later on, but we do that because we want people to keep coming back Absolutely. and we call that our in-store experience. We yeah. come there just to, sure. a lot of times we don't even buy a lot of stuff, but we will go to the store and walk around and play with the stuff and, Step on the little motion activated yeah. things. And Absolutely. Kids, well, kids that's, I was just it, getting dude. ready to say, my girls, I mean, they're 13 and 15 now. They're aging out of the whole, you know, going trick or treating. Sure. But they remember from an age going into the Spirit of Halloween, the one that's over, I was off, you know, Hall Street, mm-hmm. close to Winter, or Winter Park. We were going to the Halloween, Spirit of Halloween there. But yeah, they, that's the indoctrination. Right, sure. That's the thing. That's everybody wants to do that. Everybody wants to Thanks, do that. Oh, my five year old. <laughs> no, my five year old, the stepping on the spider and the spider that leaps, like yeah. my memory of him wanting to do that. Oh, yeah. Seeing, because Angela has this funny thing where she loves to terrify the kid. Yeah. You know, she thinks it's the funniest thing ever, just to see, like the little kid <laughs> freaking the hell out. So, Ten years later, oh, Ely's God. psychiatry bill is yeah, through the roof. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Exactly. I'm just scared of spiders and masks and just everything in general. Right. I don't know what's on. They have so, a great setup in this one up here this year. At the, uh, the, at the Toys, Toys R Us. Are us yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, we that was our uh, training store. So I brought in all of my district managers throughout Virginia. And that's when we did the training. That was the very first store oh, that cool. actually opened up in Virginia. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Are the stores consistent? Oh, yeah. So that's one of our big deal, big things that we want to make sure that every customer comes into our location. And they yeah. kind of know, depending on which location we go to. I have a, a buddy of mine. We call him Bowtie Gary. And he goes to every store. He wears a bow tie, but anyway, he goes, goes to every <laughs> store. And he likes to see if there's any – he likes to call out things that are different or whatever. Oh, wow. But he's a – but – that's the that's the thing. Everything needs to be kind of uniform. Yeah, I have noticed y'all always have a great layout where you have like, you know, everything's zoned off in its own little area, and it's like easy flow. Like you know, and you can see it from almost any point in the store. It's like, okay, I need to go over to this section. Sure, I need to go over here. Is there a scale to that though? Like, sure, because Dick's Sporting Goods is huge versus yeah, and it's got two the, levels. The, the little, right. mall, the the little right. strip mall where mine is. I mean, it's the same experience. I guess, like, you still would walk through the, the flow. But Yeah. Yeah, you know, so we have this great team of people. And also, I go up through a lot of, you know, training. And the, we have bean counters that decide how we're going to put things in the store, how we're going to merchandise it. But, yeah, we scale it back. 10,000 square feet is, is our largest box. Um, and then we can do anything as less as, you know, 3,500 square feet. We will do a full store in 3,500 square feet. Wow. But that's yeah. the minimum. So yeah, that's the minimum. I, that's, I, I feel like small for spirit. Yeah, it's super small for spirit. Ely could host it at his you know, house. But, yeah, exactly. But I definitely, <laughs> his garage can host his it. His garage is 3,500 square foot garage. I'll tell you, the sweet spot is 8,500 square feet. 85 uh-huh. to 10,000. That's where we want. That's, those are locations. You know, we go back to real estate. I have to find 10 empty buildings, you know, for every one spot I get. Because we do a lot of negotiating, and I rank sure. those. And so for the... For the Toys R Us up here, you can think about all there's. That's a there's probably store. ten other buildings within a half a mile, yeah. or even a quarter of a mile of that space. Yeah. You know, like the Martins, the old U Crops yeah, yeah. still open. So we talked about that one, and the H H Greg, which is didn't, which could have come available but didn't. Oh, so yeah. you're not just finding one location and going with that one. You're literally ranking them. Oh, I rank them. I put a sales plan on them. And you have 50, 60 stores you're doing this with? Oh, uh, yeah. So, Holy you know, cow, I'll do dude. so we'll yeah. do 500 locations. So, I have to put in 500 different boxes. That's why wow. it takes for so yeah. long for me to do it. So, I take 3 or 4 months just to scout. Yeah. That's the sales that's 1031. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> for every 10, you get 3 that are interested, one you close. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can I, you know. I never would have guessed that. Because I'm not in sales, but that's insane. That sounds like so much work. That sounds like so much work. I guess work. I always assumed that Spirit had their hands in, like, Christmas trees and fireworks. That was kind of always my sure. assumption. That, that, But you're working year-round on 
Just Halloween. Just Halloween. Now we have we we did dabble in Christmas a couple times. We've done decorations. We've also done toys. We had a, we had a concept called Toys Am. That did not go very well because obviously your biggest competitors are Walmart and Target. And so a Barbie yeah. a Barbie at Walmart and Target's going to call you know cost a ton less than a Barbie that a small little toy store is because they're buying so many units. They're buying so many units. But you're so, already there right when the so Christmas we're already season there, right? starts. So it's yeah. like yeah, I, I like the I have to, idea. On right. the surface, I have to think that the Christmas would work. Well, here's the problem with Christmas. So when we went to decor, where we sold like trees and ornaments and things like that, I'm still in the business on November the 5th. And we just talked about how Lowe's and Home Depot already have uh, all their shit out, right? right. Yeah. So every, yeah, everybody's done that. decorating. So you're late to by, the game. We're late to the game, you know? But if you could like put together a little Wonderland with pictures of Santa, it, yeah. hot chocolate, you could be crushing it. No. You would think, no. but Toys Am <laughs> didn't work. Right. That's why we're doing a podcast, really. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. That pisses me off that you're in the game till November 5th, and that's too late to the game for Christmas. Like, too to late me, to the game for Christmas. That's, that's crazy. Wait, that's right. To me, Christmas isn't even entering my head at that point. Like, yeah. yeah, but you got to go through Halloween, which is awesome. Then you get Thanksgiving, which is even better. Then Christmas, like they each deserve their own time. Like it's crazy we would, to me. We would like that, but it's... you need to get into trees, man. Right? No one buys trees, <laughs> trees till Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> I did see a crazy stat: the trees were like a billion dollar business. Christmas trees. It's insane. So oh, I, I had, believe it. Yeah. Oh, I had buddies that that's what they would they would work all year towards fireworks and Christmas trees, and that was all they did. And they would scope out lots, and they would set up like getting the, you know, getting the lots and everything, and then. They would get their growers, and they were clearing like hundred grand profit in like a month. Right, and then they were like, "All right, cool." We sit back, and then they they'd ride on for, until fireworks season, and then they would kind of run it back. And they said wow. fireworks was never as profitable, but trees was like gold. They're, they're wow. charging so much; they're paying six, seven dollars a tree. They're selling them for fifty bucks. That's crazy. So, what are the new? So, what um, things have you had to put in place because of COVID? Oh, I'm sure that's been yeah, that's been brutal. Been I was afraid he was, was really hoping like you. Ask, he was really hoping you weren't going to ask that. Remember the things we said we didn't want to talk about? No, yeah, COVID. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, obviously, the the first thing is is that we we want all of our guests to wear masks. You know, yeah, it's in a Halloween store. Yeah, I mean it's funny, That's, right? Yeah, I guess. yeah. <laughs> kind of um, I'm wearing my Jason mask. Can I come in? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This one. Oh, hold on, let me see if I can. There it is. I want to little laugh track because I'm killing it. Um, so everybody's wearing masks, and we all of our you know all of the employees are wearing masks. We have social distancing markers. We've got the stupid sneeze shields. Do you think about it? Oh, you know, we wow. had 1,400 stores. Yeah, yep. and everybody's got. Four registers, wouldn't you have liked yeah. to have been a plexiglass knee shield vendor you yeah. know, before COVID? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm sure you made yeah. a killing when Sizzler went out of business. Right. Got all those buffet <laughs> knee <laughs> shields. Like, exactly. Just... But, you know, most importantly, we have some some cleaning processes that are involved. And, you know, we're not open in dressing rooms this year. Um, Can't put the mask on. I yeah, saw. I was going right. to say, how that police the mask thing? That's well, you... good luck. Tough, I right. bet. Yeah. yeah. We... They have snipers up in the corner. <laughs> right, exactly. And no one even questions yeah. it when someone just of... falls down bleeding. Yeah. Right, like they get drug into the out. back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, that looks so real. That guy, <laughs> that guy dressed up like that guy dressed up like Jason. He's yeah. real. Yeah. yeah, that looks so real. Yeah. yeah. He's coming to get you. Trust me, there are a few. That brain I'd really looks... like to have snipers up somewhere and I'm taking care sure. of some, some yeah. customers. Uh, but on the other hand, you know we we can't we can't always like do that with our yeah. customers. We don't want to tell a customer no. Right. You know, yeah. that's the last thing you want to Absolutely. tell. Absolutely. Yes is always the best thing to tell yeah. a customer. Yeah. So, you know, if they're if they want to put on a mask that someone else may have, you know, stuck their that's face on in, them. Yeah. you know, that's that's on them, you know. I we have signs up. We try to yep. ask them not to, you know, things like that. So, but you know, we have cleaning, like I said, cleaning things. When we bring in a return or exchange, we'll oh, try yeah, to make sure that's cleaned, down. you know, and then we don't put it out for 24 hours. Yeah. And, you know, we have some really good, good processes that are involved. We nice. hired a, uh, our company, brought in this this firm that worked on Ebola cleanup. Oh, wow. You know, no Africa. way. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is a big deal. That's mm. awesome, though. Yeah. I mean, you got the top of the top. Yeah. So we had to make sure we were, you know, covered. Yeah. You know? Halloween and Ebola. Right. 
What a winning combination. <laughs> I tell you, if this was Ebola, people would be wearing masks. That stuff makes you shit and puke to death. <laughs> <laughs> like, visually, like, people are looking at you like, that dude is shitting and puking well, to you, death. You know uh, I'm going to wear a mask. <laughs> you know who had it. You wouldn't have to question. <laughs> like, yeah. That guy with puke running out of his mouth yeah. and shit coming out of his pants. Yeah. Blood coming out of his eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. may have That's it. That's Ebola. <laughs> right. Like, it'd be ama- people would be like, I think I'm going to put on a mask. That's not Maybe a cold, three. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are the symptoms it's allergy out? season. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got allergies so bad I just shit out my intestines <laughs> Fucking hay fever yeah. Every year it's like this <laughs> <laughs> oh, Looks like tall grass is back There's my colon <laughs> Every year right <laughs> uh, oh. What were we talking about? I, don't know. So I, got, a, I, got, a, I got a legitimate question for Ray So you say you're you're done November 5th That's your that's your cutoff date Yeah. So if, you got a, if, you're, ever, if you're looking at the overall picture of sales Percentage wise, what is your sales after Halloween? Well, I mean, we try to do like our half off sale, right? Or we, yeah, but, but does that make up a good don't percentage let them fool or not? You. They don't do ha- say say. This is just my observation. Sure. You just tell me if I'm right. Halloween falls on a Wednesday. There is no sale before that next weekend that's, because yeah, that's when, correct. When yeah, I, I mean, go in to get a mask, thinking I'm going to pull one over on these guys, that's because there's Halloween parties on Saturday, yeah, right? And they know yeah. that because I show I have shown up on the first like half price mask, and they're like. Same prices as it's always been. You should have shown up earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Halloween's on Saturday this year. Yeah, so. Halloween is on a Saturday this year. So, so there we're, will be Sunday, Mecca. but we'll see. Like, because Sunday is a good, you know, I might do yeah. like twenty five percent off. Yeah, uh, I'm not. Are gonna... the sales linear all oh, the way to Halloween? Basically, God, no. I'll do seventy percent of my business the last seven days. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. Because awesome. yeah. so like, everybody's yeah, yeah. Really late to the party. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. You know? By the time I've figured out what I need, I have three days. Right. You know, yeah. like, uh, I've, I've had telling the, me, I've I had know the, all about that. <laughs> like, I live my life like that. Yeah, I've had the overalls for three months waiting. Yeah. I just never managed to get all the other stuff. It's like know? when you're in the card aisle in Walmart on Valentine's Day yeah. itself, and you like look at the other guys that's crowded <laughs> in there. Yeah. You're yeah. like, I feel you, man. <laughs> you're getting the one that's like, not even for your wife. Pick free. <laughs> exactly. You got to scratch out the. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, great on. I mean, why? It's just funny, though, how we, especially as guys, are wired that way. Hell like, yeah. I'll get oh, to yeah. that shit. It's like because people are asking me what I'm going to do for Halloween, and I'm like, huh? I don't. I'm, I'll get to it. I'm not <laughs> worried about it right now. I feel like I have at least a couple weeks. Yeah. You know? Actually, I think I think I know what I'm doing. I was on the Spirit site, and I want to go see it, but there's an Uncle Ray half mask. Mm. Are you familiar with oh, that yeah, one? Yeah, Did yeah, I get yeah. the name right, yeah. Uncle Ray? Mm-hmm. Who's Uncle Ray? It doesn't matter. His nose oh, is huge. I thought it was it's like just, a... Oh, yeah. his, it's not a real dude, right? It's just like... No, it's just something that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just the creepiest... Just, you had the half mask girl before. The half mask girl was, was one of awesome. the greatest the costumes tails. I ever put on. Yeah, yeah. I, I one year, I just got this, like, this half mask, and it was like a freckled girl with big old cheeks... And pigtails, and I put on. Yeah, see, I'm going to be Uncle Ray, Uncle That's, Bobby, oh, yeah. Uncle, Uncle Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, that is yeah. great. That's going to be me this yeah. year. Just overalls that. Your stash all dragging in your yes. beard. Yeah, I can't, wait. <laughs> I can't wait. That's great. But uh, yeah, I did that one year. I wore Thanks that for that mask, idea, Brendan. And then yeah. I, I wore like like knee high socks and a skirt and like a little shirt. You had all that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I wore like the little shirt tied off and I showed up to the fraternity house with this creepy ass little girl half mask and I wouldn't take it off. I wouldn't talk to people. I just kept standing there drinking beer, <laughs> staring at people <laughs> until one of our buddies tried to Took kick you my home. ass. No, he tried to kick my <laughs> ass. <laughs> I heard him like wrangle, r- rallying up the other brothers. He's like, I don't know, man, but this fucking girl's creeping me out, man. <laughs> she keeps staring at us. Finally, he was like, I think I'm just going to go over there and hit him. And I was like, oh, guys, hey, 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 hey. hey. Don't so, Ray, do you all have, like, uh, like just every year? Uh, obviously, every year you have different new hot stuff. Like, I guess sure. Fortnite is huge right now. I'm, I don't know. We, we would like Fortnite to be huge. Because yeah. you all have a lot of, I saw a lot, a lot of their of, stuff. Of, so, do you Fortnite. have, like, stuff every year that you know you can count on? Like, this just going to sell like, oh, yeah. like, hotcakes every year. Any kind of superhero, ninja swords for kids, yep. yeah. princess for girls. Um, Any cowboy crap. Cowboy and Indians. We have, I mean, like, in, anything that's little, you know. That's landing page. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. I yeah, love we, it. Yeah, we have, it's a lot of, you know, the sluttier the better. You yeah. know, we we'll always oh, yeah. sell that, you know, fishnet I, hose, things that like that. leads me to a question. Is, are, do you sell more kids' costumes or adult costumes? Well, it's it, it really depends on the 
when Halloween falls. Like this year, it's on a Saturday, so, so we the feel adult like sales the, are... adult sales are. We think we adult, we're going to do more in adult and less okay. in kids. However, kids, you know, if it's on a Wednesday or a Thursday, we're going to do more kids because that's when people are going out. Yeah, you know, costumes is a is a huge part of our business, and we want to you know we we want to hit the hit the mark. You know, whether yeah. it's whether it's Fortnite or Stranger Things or. Carol Baskin, you know, yeah. I mean, oh, you, know shit, you know, yeah. for the Tiger King, yeah, whatever know, the hot, you know, whatever, thing right? Is, yeah, you know, do we, you have the Scoops Ahoy outfits for like Stranger Things? You know, like the oh yeah, you got those? Oh yeah, hmm. yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> I might wear that with. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> right? I don't even know what that is. Oh my! So two of the characters worked in an ice cream shop, and it's just like the worst little sailor outfit. Like it's like Donald Duck's sailor outfit. <laughs> nice, but. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Except so, we had two people that were that last year. Yeah, we did. Did I we? was at the party there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Chris showed up in mm-hmm. that. Hmm. I'm still Uncle Bobby's still on the radar though. I love a half mask. They look creepy. They do. You have access I to agree. your mouth. Well, there's nothing. Yeah, you better. don't ever want to like cover your mouth when yeah. you're going to an adult party, right? You, no. you know, I made the mistake. And even of, even a lot of makeup on is is a little sketch yeah, too. Brutal. Yeah, because so, it can get all over your. I got the. It uh, gets all over other people. Right. Yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> if you're I, I doing made it the right. Mistake of the, <laughs> if you're doing it right. <laughs> I made the mistake of the horse mask last year. Oh. Oh yeah, the BoJack Horseman. <laughs> that. It was horrible. You know you have to look out the nostrils. Right. You can't, like, see <laughs> shit. <laughs> Quite. I don't think I, like, I don't think I pieced that all together. I just went and bought it. I was like, perfect. Right. I'm going to love this. And so then it's like, everything's out here. And I was trying to play beer pong with it on, or flip cup. And then at one point, I decided to go all in. I flipped the cup, and I chugged the beer through the horse mask, just poured it all over myself. It was it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. So do you even get to enjoy Halloween, Ray? Oh, I turn the lights out and shut the door and <laughs> maybe put out candy. It's just one day yeah. off. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. But I guess I guess since Halloween's on a Saturday this year, you, y'all will be rocking and rolling on that Saturday. Sure, yeah. So Friday. are you putting out fires all day? Like, uh, all day, yeah. Really? Sure. Man. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, and then even Sunday. There'll still be a lot of people coming in on Sunday. Yeah. Just to finish up whatever they need to. So I was going to say, since you've been doing this for so long, what would be, what's your go-to? If you had to get dressed up, like what's, what's this? I mean, what do you Oh, like, for me? Yeah, for you. Oh, I do, like I have this awesome uh, Johnny from Cobra Kai costume. That's awesome. Oh, nice. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so that's yeah. the, you know, with the headband and all. Yeah, sweep the leg. Yeah, I've got it. My girlfriend this year, we, she's, you know, maybe has something lined up, but we're doing uh, Victoria and David Beckham. So we're doing oh, the couples costume. That's cool. Ah, nice. Yeah. I need some info on that. Yeah. How so is I mean, she going to do the hair? Cause did Victoria Beckham? Doesn't she have short hair? Or no, she, she has longer hair now, too. So yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. she's been all over the board. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah Angela that's always wants to do couples costumes. Well, that's yeah. the thing, you know? And yeah. you should let her. I know. Oh, Because then her. you don't have to worry about it. I know. That's a good point. But see, I'm always like... I'm indecisive, so I'm like, no, I'm going to come up with something hilariously, brilliantly funny. And you don't. And I, don't. <laughs> no. I saw you do that whole uh, Humpty Dumpty one. That was pretty, that was pretty, pretty, that was pretty, pretty yeah. brilliant. I did do Mario Kart one year, and it was like the night before it hit me, and I literally gutted my kid's red Hot Wheels car or Power Wheels car. And like I was like, "Hun, we're going to buy the kid another Power Wheel." Yeah. <laughs> you literally sawed out sawed the floor out hole in, it, in the floor, Mario and I wore Kart. it on me, and just drugs some banana. Hit, Peels behind my car, <laughs> but but I did extend the wires so the power wheels still worked. Oh, so nice! Yeah, so the wheels would turn. While I was going. It was pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he always comes up with good costumes. And I ran by Spirit cool, to get a Mario outfit to complete it. Yeah, you know? of course. Yeah, of course. Well, that's what you do. You yeah. go right. to Spirit. And you get your stuff. I know, rookie. You got to do it. Well, I think you'd make a good Ruth Gator Ginsburg. Peter. Oh, oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> yeah. and then, I love you know, it. That you guys could go as like the Supreme Court justices. Yeah. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I, I do know look you like are. Her. Oh, you look a lot like sure. her. <laughs> so yeah. Ely has a big Halloween party almost every year, and I've been to one of them, I think, because I always get stressed out because everyone takes it so seriously, and I'm not much of a Halloween guy, So I'm and I'm indecisive. I can't ever think of anything, and I just never have good Halloween ideas. I'm not I – I never think of a good costume. I just don't. Just Actually, I don't even remember what I wore to the Ely's. The last time I went a couple years ago. I have a handful of costumes that I just keep in a box upstairs, too, that are like my go-tos, like if I need them. 
Like I've got a good Popeye outfit I can pull together pretty quickly. Yeah. We do have a buddy that's been Indiana Jones for like ten years oh, running. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. He's just got a whip, oh, yeah. and it's and not a good one. Like a it's not a good one. Yeah, he wears Here's a white shirt. That we did a couple years in a row. Oh yeah, yeah. That dude who does <laughs> Indiana Jones every year, so he does it every year, and oh, oftentimes this was he, awesome. he throws a party. So one year. I was like, I know this asshole. So last gonna, year, gonna wear it's like three two years. years ago. Last year, I was Duff Man, and I thought it was, it was two a years pretty ago, good man. Duff Man. <laughs> 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 it was hard to find those white boots, but it turns out that people who go clamming wear white latex boots. Oh wow, it worked out very well yeah. for me. But I said, you end up spending so much more if you go that route than if you just go to Spirit and yeah, get yeah, the yeah, right yeah. stuff. I was like, official clam diggers, official all this stuff. Like, yeah, was, dude, I love the Spirit experience. I just like, oh. Oh, you want this, son? You want this one? Oh, hon, you want this one? Slam them on the counter yeah. and I'm done. Walk out. Yeah. Done skis. Instead of like piecing it together. Yeah. Oh, my god. I got to find a blue shirt and yeah. a red pair of pants. And right. you're like, where just, do I even find this stuff? Just don't wait. Right. Go now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I guess you you get the right amount of inventory. It's not like you're restocking on the. Yeah, 25th. I mean, no, I mean, I've only got two more shipments coming probably wow. to all these stores. Do you wow. use? Is it mostly come from one manufacturer? Uh, no, we have a ton of vendors. Really, a ton of vendors. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. to I mean, it's all coming from China, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, but to supply fourteen hundred locations, you've got to have enough vendors to, right. to do right. that. Yeah. So is the it's stuff the, you guys have only is it exclusive to Spirit? We do have a lot of exclusives. Oh we, wow! You know, with the the. Uh, uh, the trademark or the, you know, like Disney and some yeah, of the copyright things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Copyright things the, some of those are exclusives to us. Oh, really? You know? Oh, wow. Yeah, Fortnite, nice. we, we actually have exclusive on Fortnite. We, oh, that's cool. And we changed this year. We are now the manufacturer of all Fortnite merchandise. We bought nice. the We bought the manufacturing rights. Oh, wow. So we manufacture it, and we've sold it to some of our competitors. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> that's <laughs> really yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so How much do you want to pay for this? <laughs> Forward thinking. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, we we had a really great relationship with those guys down in and in, in North Carolina. I, Rockstar again. Yeah, that's right. Rockstar, yeah, yeah. Rockstar Games. So oh, yeah. those guys really wanted to work with us, and we said, okay, we can manufacture it. Yeah, and that we rules. sold it, and then and then so now we have that, and we offer to you know Walmart. We sell it to Walmart. Yeah. Are the are the guys at Rockstar as cool as I always hear they are? I I've never worked with them, so but I do hear that those are some really down to earth, really good guys. I've, you know? I've heard a lot of interviews with various people from there. There was a guy named Laszlo that some people may have heard of. He's of course, his name was Laszlo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could it be and Mike? He's yeah. one of he's one of the designers over there. But like every time I hear interviews with them, those guys just get it. Right. They're extremely cool. They've got their finger on the pulse, and they put. They're not willing. I mean, they're not scared to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to make sure that game is perfect. Well, they make hundreds of millions of dollars. They do. on that game. They make you know? more off the games sure. than people are making on blockbuster movies. I mean, people don't realize that. But yeah. if you have, if you had Grand Theft Auto, that's doing better than Star Wars. Sure. Right. Just, wow. They're making money. I will say that they were really good. From what I understand, I talked to a couple of buyers and some people that said that they're amazing to work with because they understand our vision and they know that we have yeah. we have a, a you know this creative team and their creative team really worked with some of the costumes and some of the things that we had which made our line even better you know that's uh, awesome so Fortnite was a big Fortnite was a big win for us that's awesome yeah. sounds like it yeah, yeah i saw some of those costumes like the fish head guy and all mm-hmm. that crazy stuff which if i could learn how to floss i could do that but i can't <laughs> right. floss for the life of me i don't know how the hell that's done yeah, Jacob so can do it. I, I got a, um, there's a new game that I had no idea about until Spirit this year. It's called Among Us, um, and it's a they they like s- wear they wear this hat right. So they wear this helmet. I've never it's heard a, it's of a NASA it. I think helmet. my sons talked to me about it's it. It's been around for several years, but over COVID, it just got it blew up. Really? So if you wanted a NASA helmet, which we had tons of. You can't find them anymore. Wow. Yeah, and if you look on eBay, no way. Oh really? yeah, oh, yeah. People are coming in. People, people are coming in now. Oh, wow. Them. But Among Us is one of the one of the these new game based. Uh, what is it? Costumes. Computer. I'm not oh, a gamer, computer, so yeah, it's I know nothing. Based. It's computer wow, based. Really it says good. it's uh, four to ten players as you attempt to prep your spaceship for departure. But beware, there are imposters, and everybody's <laughs> bent on killing you. <laughs> and it's it sounds it's, like a game. I, maybe your boys. I don't know. No, my kids don't play games. <laughs> He's serious. He won't. Yeah. They don't, we don't my, have gaming yeah. systems gotcha. and stuff. They have a couple like we they have got some old I- butter and stuff. At they night. have some old <laughs> iPhones. They have some downloaded <laughs> right. crap on, but we're not we're not gamers. My girls probably know it though. Yeah, it's I called Among yeah. Us. They're they're allowed. To, they play Fortnite out here all the time, 
And it, actually, that game's dope. I don't it care is, what anybody for says. Sure. Like, I actually enjoy. I will piss away a couple hours with the kids playing Fortnite. I will I am, not. I am horrible, <laughs> horrible at it. Yeah, me too. Like, I am the definition yeah, of you're a old. You got to be able to build. If you can't build, you're not going to be good. Yeah, I can't even. Yeah, I see these people building shelters. At the speed and of like, light, too. You're like, yeah, you're putting sudden, walls up. I'm they're like, up there shooting on. me. How do I get one wall up? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, where is Y? Where is Y? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> build, exactly. Build. Yeah, it's, it's, it's horrible. Then I'm, I'm dead again. I think I got to like, I got within single digits once where I finished. I was like, <laughs> I'm getting better. Next time I dropped in, I was dead instantly. Yeah. I was like, this game's tough. It's, Sounds fun. It actually And the smart because they keep changing it too. Correct. New seasons, yeah. you know, new skins, all that new stuff. And last year they had a spirit Halloween store inside the game. Get out. Yeah. What? That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's badass. Yeah. So that was right when we, you know, got the exclusive on that. And so they yeah. said well, we're gonna put a spirit spirit Halloween in there. Oh, that's really cool. Damn. I mean we take over everything else when it closes up. Disney included. I mean Yeah. yeah. You've, seen yeah. The, you've seen the memes, right? <laughs> oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah Absolutely. <laughs> that's awesome. So, oh, so like some Disney stores have closed and y'all uh, yeah, well, it, it, it doesn't matter. If you leave a space yeah. or you leave a building, we are going to... Ray knows about it. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> yes. It's, on the, it's on the radar. It's yeah. on the radar. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Speaking, so you're done November 5th, and you said you start in January. Is that... Do you get six weeks break? I mean, are you shutting it down for yourself? No. So, so what I'll do is... So we last day of sales is the third, fourth, or fifth, depending on what happens. And then I will do uh, tear down. And then I've got it for me. I've got to pay, you know, pay my people and close out the every locations and things like that. That could take until November 20th, November, yeah. um, you know, right around Thanksgiving. And then I'll take a little time off there. And then, like I said, December one, December one is when I really start kind of getting researching again, get, getting, getting going. So I'm assuming you work with, you have, Various commercial real estate people you work with all the time. No, no, no. Oh, wow. I mean, you're so, literally going out and finding these correct. places. Yeah, and oh, so wow. if I see an empty building, I'll you know get the name, get the location, send it to my people, go from there. Do you get do you get more of those empty buildings last second though? Like say, say I mean, not last second, but things change. I mean, you're nine months ahead of the sure. curve. Yeah. So I I'll start a like a I call it a scouting rotation where I'll start. I'll go and scout Northern Virginia take a week and scout northern virginia then i'll come in and i'll do richmond then i'll do virginia beach and then i'll go out to western uh, virginia and then i'll just turn that cycle over again just keep going so it could around. be so an empty building could fill up or a new building could become empty how, how do you find do you out go? all the way to christiansburg is my furthest okay. but we do have stores in johnson city oh really i mean from two yeah, yeah. but but that's not yeah. my location you've got to Bristol. get to radford come oh, on yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just 20 more, miles, 20 more miles how do you find these empty buildings like you're I really just like driving just around, driving around. Wow, yeah, seeing signs. Yeah. yeah, years ago we had, I had this old boss who made me have a map. I like a like a, a big real, ADC like map. A, like yeah, yeah, map. And when I would go the first time out, I would I would put a, like a highlighter on it, and then the next time I drove that road, I put another highlighter on it. <laughs> wow, and I would, that's how that's how so we did you it. No, wow, I just know. Yep. damn, and you know. Then you get used to it. Then you get. Yeah. Then you know. Like I know my market. I know my area pretty mm-hmm. well. So I know that Hull Street, Midlothian, Broad Street, Staples right. Mill. You know those those areas in Richmond are you know where you want to be. And right. bound to have empty buildings. <laughs> bound to yeah. have empty buildings. Depending on you know the closer you get to the city. Yeah. The further west you go, depending. Yeah, I gotta imagine it's much harder out out west where we are. Maybe not. Where we? Like, what do you mean? Was that, just, was that a stream of consciousness? <laughs> we just buried with this. Oh, so where are we? So difficult. No, nah, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> no, I, I think it's got to be. It has to be more difficult out farther west, where they're building instead yeah. of stuff being closed down. It well, was way down Hull Street, right. almost in Amelia. Yeah. Right. So there, it is a little bit more difficult there. And when I say west, like I'm talking like going to Charlottesville and yeah. you know Harrisonburg and Christiansburg and Roanoke. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there's a lot less population out there, so there's a lot less density of retail. Yeah. So it makes it a little more difficult to but do that. But you don't change up your stores based on location. You do put the same product in the building. Oh, sure. Regardless yeah. of where regardless it's located. Of, you right. know, and there'll be a few like higher volume locations that I'll put some specialty product in, but it has to be really high volume. Like I mean, near, have, near a college, be like, up the slutty costumes. Could be. <laughs> yeah. What are your highest volume stores? What what cities are they in? San Francisco. I mean, we have California. Like, we have a few stores in California, some in Texas and um, – uh, that do a million dollars. That'll be adjusted oh, okay. after wow. this year. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> impressive. No. That's a ton of money coming through a store that's yeah. only open for a month. Yeah, twelve about 12 weeks they're open. 
Wow. wow. Yeah, but the vast majority of it's the last week. Sure. I'm assuming it's the last month. There's like 80% of the nut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, we have these bean counters this year. I keep calling it. I mean, there's really smart guys from Harvard, oh, yeah. our BAs, you know, our business analyst guys that have said, hey, listen, we, we have a capacity problem because we can't get enough people in the building because of COVID to make those sales numbers that we have right. at the end. Yeah. So how the heck are we going to do this? How are you going to do that? Right. So we've we put into place where we're going to we've added some more registers. We we've, we've training our staff to be a little more faster on their on you know getting turning those people over. You're going to look good uh, as Uncle Bobby. Go right, go. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> so we I mean so COVID has some challenges that we didn't even think of in the beginning of the season about like just capacity. capacity right? Well, I guess too the, the one thing you probably have is a lot of these stores are bigger than you need them to be, so you can space out a little bit more, right? We, we can, but we didn't really build anything more than 10,000 square feet, and uh-huh. then that, that's where we base our capacity on because we think that's the safe number. Even right. though I'm so in a big sporting was, goods. He was looking at buildings in December prior to, prior to any to outbreak. Right. Yeah. Was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Things are going to oh, be fine. True. He's and like, he's, I'm taking the Costco. I mean, <laughs> right. never mind, the 7-Eleven. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, if, yeah, if you'd have known, you'd get the larger for the space and do that. But, yeah. Yeah. That's a, I still got a million questions. I realize we're 45 minutes in. It's deli time. We should probably crack a, crack a beer here. <clears throat> I'm exi- Ray, I'm excited for you to try this okay. beer. So, this is, this beer, it's under there, Troy, I think. <laughs> I it's. Know. I don't know which one you're doing. The Atomic Pump. Okay. Well, I assume. Go on that route. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the other one next week. Wink, wink. Thirty minutes from now. Uh, <laughs> so, Atomic Pumpkin has been tried year in and year out, and it wins a deli almost every time. But you see, this year, I don't know if it will because I made a critical error last year where I got all excited about the Atomic Pumpkin, and I drove down to Pennsylvania and I bought multiple cases of this stuff. And what Down ended to Pennsylvania. Up, Brendan's at it again. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he's, went, he's directionally challenged. Yeah. I was. I started in Maine, so I went down, oh, okay. to, down to PA. I got you. So the Atomic Pumpkin is a spicy pumpkin beer that New Belgium does every year. And I loved this stuff so much that I ended up getting all these cases of it. And then listeners ended up bringing me like six packs, 12 packs. And what happened was, what had happened was, I ended up with about, a hundred of these things and then corona hit mm-hmm. and i was like i'm not going anywhere so i started drinking all the stuff in my house which meant that every night i would have two or three atomic pumpkins every time i drank just trying to get through them and now i've gotten to the point where the last beer i want to taste is a fucking atomic pumpkin <laughs> but here we are i'm gonna try it and we're gonna see if if the old ones started tasting bad to me, or if a fresh one's good. So I'm excited about this, even though I'm also a little apprehensive. So What's, this okay, this is a Voodoo Ranger, and where it usually says special release, Atomic Pumpkin has special cross out says spicy. It is uh, six point four ABV, and this is pumpkin ale featuring cinnamon and habanero chili peppers for it's, just the right amount of heat. It's not as spicy this year as it was last year. I know this because I've had a thousand of these. I was going to say, how do you remember? But that's correct. Yeah, this is the I, I know this <laughs> beer as well as I know Miller Lite right now, which last year I would have said Coors Light, but I learned something last year. So we got to give him the rundown on the scoring, I guess. Well, he's a listener. He knows it's, oh, yeah, that's right. it's, it's zero through five in half point increments. Um, and Unless Ray is not a fan. He hates pumpkin beer. I'm, well, not a, I'm not a pumpkin beer fan. I like a pumpkin stout. But yes, and a pumpkin spice latte. I believe we covered. We, we, that. We it was you and that, me, right, right, Brad? You Absolutely. and me, we love them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just looking for a friend. <laughs> now, this is different every year. You, you you were telling us this is certainly less spicy than last season's, which I think. And why is that again? It, they just every year they say slowly they slightly tweak the recipe and they change it up. It's the same thing like this year. If you ever, if you happen to have the Sam Adams Summer Ale this year, which we did not review, it was really lemony. Like they decided to go over the top with lemon. It was really good, but it was not what I would traditionally say. This one right here, it dries your mouth. This has nutmeg. This is like heavier on nutmeg and cinnamon yeah. than it has been in years past and lighter on habanero. So this one actually tastes more like a pumpkin beer in the traditional sense. So I... I'm interested to see how uh, how it fares. And we usually like them because they're spicy. That's what we like about the Voodoo Ranger. Because it's not a pumpkin beer. Yeah. It's like something else. And this one, 
Ooh, there's a little spice there. I just was there's say, a little I feel a little bit in the back there's of my some, throat. That, that, yeah. that cinnamon, the um, habanero, really. It's, it's interesting. So Takes per the, the per the website, they're saying they got uh, capsaicin. Is that curable? Like a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel you have a doctor. When did they, <laughs> when did they get it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel horrible for the capsaicin, guy. chili pepper. Um, they got a few things there that's probably going to give you that. Build up of heat on the back. Isn't of that like a mouth. vitamin or something? What the fuck is capsaicin? Capsaicin yeah. patches are like the heat things you'd put on you for like sore muscles and things like that. The shack <laughs> tries to sell me. <laughs> <laughs> icy hot. There's you an icy hot patch in here. We're drinking icy hot. The new yeah. capsaicin okay. Patch. Sounds bad. <laughs> yeah. See, it, I mean, it says moderate capsaicin spices in the back of the throat. Oh, I believe that you can read. I just want to know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't I know can't believe you from. believe that. No, I'm just saying they put it in there. <laughs> I'm glad I hadn't started drinking because that would have ended up coming out my that nose. That spicy beer through that your nose would have hurt. Sucked, man. <laughs> That's that capsaicin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I've had capsaicin all through this whole quarantine. <laughs> just been tons of capsaicin. That ointment didn't clear it up? No. Nah, it's, it's been pretty bad. All right. That's, a, that's, a, that's interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave, Ray, I'm going to leave you till the end. Okay, go for it. I think I'm going to let... Well, let's let Stu and his marketing genius lead us off, if he's ready. I'm not ready. Okay. That <laughs> checks out. Thanks, Ely. I'll go. <laughs> All right. Flipping the script. I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like it a lot. Um, wow. And, yeah, it doesn't. it's not too sweet. It's not over-the-top pumpkin flavor. I like spice. I like that. It, it doesn't finish harsh. Yeah. It's smooth. It, Gosh, I'm... Yeah. As weird as it um, sounds, it tastes light. Like it does. There's no heavy. There's no heaviness to it. And as anyone knows me, that's what I like. So, I'm gonna give it a four. I, uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna yeah, go, go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm. This is so much better than last year. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's because I am drinking year old beers. Well, now they're over a year old because yeah. they come Ooh. out. And now I'm not going to be able to find this, which is going to break my heart because it's, it's been sold out. And I've been saving it for this episode because I wanted you to try it. I fucking love it. It's smooth. Despite being spicy, like it goes down smooth. It's not overly bubbly. Like the pumpkin flavor is there, but it's not bothering me. I like the cinnamon and that weird nutmeg, the way it dries my mouth out just a little bit. I'm digging it. This may be one of the best ones they've done. I'm giving it a four as well. Nice. Um, I agree with everything that both of you have said. Um, the more you drink, the more the spice hits you, which I really enjoy the spice. I like yeah. the, the chili pepper taste, and the the nutmeg isn't overpowering, and I give it a four as well. I like it. Damn, Stu. Wow. Just so you know, they're saying they're, they have it at Wegmans for their website. I was going to ask. Thank you. That's where I got this one, but it was like a month ago, and usually they sell out. But I will be... You're always at Wegmans, so... I will be masking up and going to Wegmans. And Has anyone seen it anywhere other than Wegmans? I did not see it in Total Wine this weekend. I looked for it. You know what I looked for at Total Wine that they didn't have? I saw the Wowza. commercial. No, uh, they have the... There's a new commercial out for Budweiser Nitro. Oh, Beachwood yeah. Aging and yeah. Nitro? Yeah. Well, they didn't have it, but I want to try that. That's going to be good. Yeah. You could probably order this at Total Wine. It's, it's Prob- the, the problem is they make just one batch. And, like, when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, that's, really? That's what makes it tough. They keep these very limited. And they're in North Carolina, right? Uh, the, they're making these in the Asheville Brewery, I believe, yes. Okay. Which, by the way, is a great brewery. Dude, it's fantastic. I had, so, for a couple of years, I had North Carolina and South Carolina. So, that was my territory. So, as we've grown, I've gotten my territory and distances shrunk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Asheville Brewery was, a, I mean, like, always made a special the trip. The way it looks yesterday. over that river. Oh, yeah. And then you get the train goes by sometimes on the oh, other yeah. side, and you're just sitting out on that deck. I'm with you, man. Mm. That place is fantastic. And the bikes they have. Along on the, the top? Oh, oh my gosh. yeah. And then outside they have bike racks, and they have certain bikes that, like, they've just put there that aren't. And it's, like, bikes with little tiny wheels or giant wheels. Like, there'll be a penny farther bike sitting out there. Like, it's just a cool-ass spot. I digress. Stu, you're up. So, I'm really not a big fan of pumpkin anything. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin beer. And my first sip of this was all was all pumpkin. And it wasn't settling with me. But the more I'm drinking it, I'm liking that I'm tasting the cinnamon right on the top. Like, yeah. at first. And then um, the, the heat on the back end is nice. 
I'm going to give this because I do like the 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 marketing is perfect for the there time of the season and everything. There. So I'm going three and a half because I will actually drink I love this. It. It's got the Frankenstein stitches. I figured yeah, it makes, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, everything about it, the colors of pop. But I'm today, good. today we don't. It's not about our taste. This is a. <laughs> this was an attempt to give Ray a beer he might like. The question is, does Ray like it? Yeah. Well, I, I will say that this is a very drinkable beer. Okay. Do I like? Do Good I like start. it? Like it? You know, is it something yeah. that I'm going to have? I could probably keep this in my refrigerator year round. I would drink this every once in a while. Three and a half, I think, is where I'm going to give it. The cinnamon and habanero pop. I think as the season get, as we get colder, yeah, as it yeah. gets cooler in the season, I think this yeah. is a this is a better beer now, for a cooler season. That for was sure. my logic when I started stacking cases right. in here. Yeah, the cold season goes by awfully fast. These don't disappear as quickly as right. I'd like. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's 98 degrees outside, and you're drinking. I think this beer is exactly what you did. You kept it for Ray. Like, you would keep this beer in your house because you want to share it with share other people for your season. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it comes what around. It the it's fire good pit. around right. the fire pit and stuff like that. But so we a four, a four, a four, a three and a half. Is three that and a half. Yeah, three and a half. Three and, and, three and, and, and a half. three and a half. That's a damn that's a good, that's a good score. beer. That's a, that's a damn that's good gonna score. That's going to get the bell ring, right? Yeah, for sure. Damn! I mean, all five of us liked it. That's three yeah. years in a row that they've they've tweaked it and it's managed to pull off a W. Yeah. Good now, stuff. I will and tell you, as I sit here not drinking it, the fire just keeps going. Yeah. 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 I love it. Back yeah. Back yeah. In. It makes you want to have another sip. Yeah, but you, it but does. You it chase too. it, and then you're like, "Oh no, it's just gonna get hotter." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but as a, as a public service announcement, please don't go out and buy five cases of this. You will regret that. Yeah, because. When you're sitting around the pool. It'll bring on a <laughs> pandemic. Yeah. Here's an interesting question, though. Do you think many chicks like it? Ooh. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I think this is a chick beer. Yeah. Spike, I think it is. Really. Like, no, most chicks don't like heat. I don't think they like the I would agree with Ely. The spice is going to scare them. Yeah. That is a blanket. I, I don't I don't buy it. There's That's, a lot right, of look, women who love let's hot Let's give the caveat that I'm not talking yeah. about every woman on the you planet. You mean 100% of all women? Ely, is that what you're speaking? You're speaking for 100% of all women. Most. I think a little sip of this with some Many. cream on top of it. <laughs> My okay. wife would hate it. I can like, tell you that. I mean, My as a general rule of thumb, guys like spicy shit more. Yes. Generally. I think if there's a woman who likes spicy food, though, she's going to love this. That's I sexist, agree, and completely. I'm going to have to leave the podcast. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen <laughs> exactly. To well, Ely's canceled. <laughs> cool. I can tell you right I'm now. I'm uncancelable. My wife would hate this. I can is tell that you 100%. Word? It is now. Cancelable? Yeah. Uncancelable? No. Well, cancelable is definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Incancelable. I ain't going nowhere, bitch. Inconceivable. No <laughs> I'm psyched that it did so yeah. well. That was good. I'm psyched at how good it is because honestly, I hate this. I hate this beer right now, but now I'm loving it. You got extras yeah. you want to dump? I've got literally of this year's. There's one. One. Left. Oh. <laughs> but of last year's, there's three more sitting in the fridge because I saw them today and I was like, "Go away, Voodoo Ranger." Now I'm like, "Ooh, yeah." I'd say that or we should like we should share those three and see what the like. We should do a comparison. I agree. We should see if how different it is. How different it really is. I could arrange for that. Yeah, you could. They're gonna have to wait till next episode to hear. Are you the results convinced that it's much different? I oh yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a resounding no. No. <laughs> so why would I have a Why'd you throw legitimate your hands up? question for Ray? Maybe it's, you guys have already thought about this, or you can or can't. But why wouldn't you start to find breweries that do these types of beers and warm sales those in the stores at the same time? Like yeah, the, why don't I'm you, why would they, why don't you why get an ABC they, license yeah, I was gonna every say, year? Right? I understand yeah, exactly. how ABC <laughs> like super cheap. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can, just, I can just see, like, walking in, like, I'm shopping, you know, the kids are doing their thing, but there's a there's a Halloween beer, pumpkin beer that goes that goes along with it. Goes well, I think we all know why you would do that. I think that goes without saying, right? Like, that's a huge pain in the ass to get oh an ABC license yeah. and sell some six-packs yeah, I mean, I can, sometimes I can't even get stores open because a, you know, a fire marshal doesn't w- like the toilet handle. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Your fire marshal's looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, that's where the Clearly. water that's is. That's the point. That sounds like a building official. Well, no, I mean, like you said you had, official. like, a seven-day window of free time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just, just get ABC license. license for the six. I mean, you got all these yeah. parents in there with their kids. Yeah. Let's get them loaded. Right. <laughs> the kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, parents I, are driving. I do worry about my employees getting loaded while they're <laughs> That's while a good point. Yeah. 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 How difficult is it to find seasonal talent? That was, I, mean, that, I, uh, oh I was going to ask that. Because these, Brutal. Uh, it's, 
Because yeah. it's hard to find someone who's like, I only want a job. That's not your two job, months. though, right? Oh, yeah. I gotta yeah find he's operations. Find, I got to find people. Oh, but my that, I thought that'd be like a whole HR thing. So HR, we have some great partners. My HR partners are awesome. However, I've got to do the, I've, I've got to like filter through all the applications and, and find those people. Now, listen, I, I, I start, you know, like the top down, like my district managers and my store managers, I'll find. But after that, it's on them. Oh, really? Oh, they pay uh, you, but on them, meaning enough. the district and the store, or on the HR people? So it'll be on the, like, the district manager will find the assistants, and the I store managers you. will find their, you but know. Is, so but are store managers seasonal? Oh, yeah. Everybody is seasonal. Uh, so is not it, district? Or oh, district it? managers are seasonal, too. Wow. Really? Wouldn't oh, yeah. So my district manager. to go, find people who, like, really care and, like, that? Yeah. believe in the spirit way? And well, all. that's what we want. We want those people that really are Halloween enthusiasts to come in and sell our product and, and enjoy and laugh and, and give ideas. And, and So what and, kind of people are these district managers that only work for... Great question. So uh, so my some of my best people have other jobs. Um, I have a girl who's been with me almost, like, 14 years. She started as an associate. Now she does... She takes pictures at the mall. She's a she runs those photo ops with mm-hmm. Santa. Yeah. So then she goes right from Spirit to Santa to Easter, and then back around to me. Ah, wow. so she so works full time. Seasonal, seasonal angle. right? I so you, like and, that. right? Yeah. And so she makes enough money, be, and she's okay with only making a certain amount of money yeah. a year. She's okay with that, and 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 that's great. That's what we want. I'm, I, without asking specifics, I mean, does it does it pay pretty well? I mean, I understand the uncertainty sure. is brutal because it's like. I oh, have yeah. to now find the Santa job. I have to find the Easter money yeah. job, whatever it may be. But like, yeah, we, is there a little bit of a increase in pay because you know there's the uncertainty that it ends in absolutely, two months? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So we, we pay equivalent of, you know, someone making between forty five and fifty five thousand dollars a year. You pay that for those two months. For those months, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. fantastic. Yeah, so yeah. and then we got and then we have this great bonus program. They do well in sales and make sure they hit their that's strength awesome. numbers and and they keep their headcount up and and all those things. We we make sure we yes. take care of our people. Spirit it's really sounds important. like a great uh, that's organization. Cool, yeah, and, you know, on our minimum wage, we we have a we have a higher minimum wage. You know, we pay nine or ten dollars an hour for our people, and in certain parts of the country, it's even more. So nice. just just based on that, how many people are full time employees for? Spirit of Halloween. So we have 40 people, like 42, 43 people that are in my position. And then there's like 10 people above that. Um, How many people in your in this state, in, uh, in your region? That are full-time? Yes. Two. Wow. Wow. Damn. <laughs> You're, you there's the only one other off. of you, right? There's <laughs> one, only one over me. And he, was, he worked for me for years, and now he has his own little area. He has uh, wow. Northern Virginia Swath and like uh, Maryland. Because that's all like. So dense up there. So dense. He yeah. has that. He has that. Yeah. So it's all operations, and then you create the sales side of it. There's no full time. Well, so we in our corporate office, we have people that work for Spirit year round that yeah. do our marketing or do our. Yeah. Um, we have our own R and D program because most all those animatronics that you see. Yeah. We have people that actually build those. I was going to bring and them then, out. Okay. and then we give we ship them off, and then somebody <sighs> manufactures them for us. That's really cool. Yeah. I had no idea. Wait a minute. Back up. I didn't know that. You guys yeah. design them. Oh, yeah. We have a lot someone of someone desi- builds them, too. Wow. So you're not it's just bringing respect. in stuff that someone else has designed, and this is the flavor of the year. You oh, guys. No. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. When Chuck E. Cheese went out of business, they just bought up all the Chuck E. Cheeses, <laughs> right. and then they just put, like, you put a little You need a giant rat? On I got one. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> so here's a great story. So this year we have, um, this was supposed to have been the 2020, like, the big deal. Like, we've been waiting for two years to do this because it's Saturday Halloween. Yeah. We wanted to introduce one of our very first animatronic pieces. It was the Crypt Keeper from years ago. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Love the Crypt Keeper. Right. So the Crypt Keeper was this, was this item that we had 20, 22 years ago. We couldn't find it. And so the manufacturer had gone out of business. We couldn't find it anywhere. We had no idea what it looked like. We had some pictures of it, what it said, things like that. Yeah. So we had to find one. Well, we actually, the buyers hunted it down. They found it in this collectible shop in... Haswell, Virginia. Get out. Uh, you know, <laughs> fell in Taswell. your territory. It's, it's actually in my territory. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I drove out to Taswell. So this backwoods collectible shop guy's yeah. in there. He's like a freaking hoarder. It's in this big barn. 
it's a disaster in there. I'm like, hey, I'm here to pick up this thing because we our buyers tried to call him and he was like, I ain't selling y'all nothing on phone, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. like, I'm here for I, my neighbors just <laughs> like that dude. Right. I know exactly those right. people. And you're and we're get like, the no, guys no, no, no. We'll give the, you whatever. Uh, we'll give you whatever it is for this yeah. for this item. It's like I don't care. I'm not selling it to you guys. So right. I he's like, I'm an American out picker. There. Yeah, I was gonna say you gotta get the American picker. My grandpappy said I don't sell nothing to nobody unless I shake their hand, look them in the eye. That's right. Fair enough. So this guy has an original Crypt Keeper that he wow. bought at some estate sale, and he wanted like $2,000 for it. Really? That seems low? High. That seems high. Yeah, like he was he was definitely hitting the shine in the back when he wanted $2,000. But it was an thing. animatronic? It was an animatronic. It was his old Crypt that Keeper. Seems had like, that seems low to me. That does seem low to me. Yeah, but I would have sold it for 100 but want the rights. Right. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually went there, talked him down to 750 bucks, and we have it, so now they're going to tear it apart. And we're going to manufacture it. it. Yeah. That's back awesome. to us. And so, so is there any trademark on that, though? No, Nobody's, we can't. The trademark expired. <laughs> there you go. Wow. So now you own the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> now they own the Crypt Keeper. When fantastic. do we expect the right? Crypt Keeper? So we're hoping maybe next year, maybe 22. Oh, we'll that's see. awesome. Okay. Yeah, because it does take a while. Oh, yeah, to, sure. to reverse engineer uh, a yeah, skeleton to break it down. Crypt yeah. Keeper? Yeah. So, it, you know, like, I can't wait. It has a Walkman, right? So it has a Walkman with tapes. So you put the tape in. So it's a Teddy it, Ruxpin. It, right, it's a <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. An evil-ass Teddy yeah. Ruxpin. Yeah. Yeah, because HBO. HBO. Yeah. Was it MTV? They, I don't know. It was, no, it was HBO. HBO. It was HBO. Yeah. 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 Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. It was fantastic. So they let that expire. I pleasure myself. I mean, well, I watch that show many a time. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you my wife's a diehard Halloween person. She just posted this. What is that? Uh, Carol, Carol, yeah. Baskins. Carol Baskins. Carol Baskin. You selling a lot of uh, mm. Carol Baskin stuff this year? Hell yeah! Oh, what, sure. Yeah, Joe Exotic is like I mean, got to be the hottest thing going. Yeah. Those are the people. yeah. Well, Karen. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. what about the, Karen? Oh, uh, we have a general. huge Karen in cap. Yeah, you do. So is it, <laughs> I love is it really spirit. Karen. I love spirit. <laughs> <laughs> is it We're all, on the pulse of the people? <laughs> is it is it right. all different Karens or is uh, it like one short haired crazy? So the great thing about our Karen manager. is you can do whatever the hell you want with it because you'll know because yeah. you know you got a wig whether it's you know blonde or dark or whatever. Yeah. You have multiple ways of being Karen. Oh yeah. Oh, God, Are there Kens? Gorgeous. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, you can you make. A, I'm sure you can make a Ken. So, like, because in that way, there's the no so prepackaged Ken. Chad, it's Chad just, or Chad. Yeah, Chad. I know it's Karen and Ken or Karen and Chad. Oh, yeah, I don't whatever. So, but can we have a huge Karen in cap? That's that's our that's the new that's we were like on it. That's great. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. To, to, I'm going to go back to the Do Carol picture? Baskin just for a second. Sure. Do you have leashes there for the men? For the oh yeah, how she walks her husband around. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's they have awesome. leashes, but it doesn't have to be a specific Carol yeah. Baskin leash. At our parent company, we do, we do we have leashes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, is, what is what is the parent company? Our parent, our Spencer Gifts. Spencer Gifts owns. Perfect. Oh yeah, which adds up because oh, you yeah. could always get that kind of like Halloweeny stuff sure. year round in a in a Spencer. A lot of massage Absolutely. stuff in there. Personal yeah. massagers per- all day long. Well, I and never and leashes. Yeah, and leashes. <laughs> leashes, spike collars, and all the cool <laughs> stuff, man. That makes perfect sense, though, that Spencer's Gifts was like, dude, we do so much business with the li- limited amount of Halloween stuff we have. We should just blow this up. And they understood the whole retail segment. They mm-hmm. understood the malls and all the things that were going out of business. I'm sure one night they were just sitting around. And it was like, oh, this is too easy. Like the light bulb went off. It went off. And those guys, and we picked it up. It was in like, uh, I think, 93 is when Spirit started and then in California. And then when I first uh, first came in. We had 260 stores, wow! And it was we've grown like leaps and bounds, and it's a perfect match because we have our we have our warehouse in in different parts of the country that can support the the stores. We have our HR department, we have our loss prevention department, we have our cash control department. We have it all. I mean, our buying because you had the infrastructure. We have the infrastructure right there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But you guys do a ton charity wise too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have this. I was going to go there for the. You're all good. You're good. Classic. Yeah, I'd like to hear it. I'd like so to hear what got. Uh, our, you know, our parent company has some really great things. You know, obviously, I want to talk about boobies make me smile, which is through our parent company, which is since it's October. I rented that one. Yeah. So, <laughs> however, with Spirit, we do this thing called Spirited Children. It has been going on for years, and you know, every year, you know, you walk into our store and you come in, and the first thing we ask you is, how much would you like to donate to Spirited Children? 
And that dollar or the two dollars or ten dollars or whatever you donate is one hundred percent goes right to the child life department I love in your to hear local that. No local huge. hospital. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah so really cool. I decide like so in the beach, King's daughter is yeah, the sure, is, is sure. King's daughter is the beach hospital. So I make nice. sure I get those guys some money. Nice. And it goes right to them. So, you know, whether it's you know, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Last year it was like almost sixty thousand dollars wow. I gave to King's daughter. Wow. So I donate a dollar at Spirit Halloween. It'll go directly to my local one dollar children's every one hundred percent. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Man. If you give me a thousand dollars, I'm gonna put a thousand dollars in there. If account. I give you a thousand dollars, shake me. Yeah, so they're the, the, the bands. Yeah, so you got some bracelets. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So a two dollar donation gets you those bracelets. And uh we you like I said, you know 100%. how rare that is to find a charity that that doesn't try to make money off. I know of it. it's right. sad. Like honestly, sad. that is it's it's very rare. We get involved every year with M4K here in Richmond, and a big part of the draw is that one hundred percent of the money goes directly to the charity, and we don't we don't make any money. Now we can get in kind donations to like right. do like the infrastructure of what we're trying to do, but that's known that it's going to yep. us and not to the charities. Everything we do that was a big draw for me because you don't. Find that like you hear these things like a hurricane happens, you text and you donate ten dollars and you find out like three of it made it to the place that needed help. It's and gross. It's, it's heartbreaking to sure. see how they do that. So I'm super we, psyched to hear that you. We're do that. not interested in doing that. I mean, we know that hospitals freaking suck for kids, and that's what yeah. this is all about. You know, making you know we want to make hospitals less scary for kids. Yeah. Dude, dude. Well, and except so other, for one month a year, they want to scare the shit right. out of us. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing too is that not only do we do our the donation we we have a party i do a halloween party for the hospital every year that's awesome. oh, wow, sweet however this year we don't have our party so yeah. i need everybody to uh, go in and make sure we get the child double, down, double your down, on, down on your donation yeah. you know covid really put a damper on that but i'll go in and i'll paint pumpkins and i'll give out costumes and we'll have this big party for any of the kids that are on on the floor oh wow. yeah, yeah because you could probably hospital. still give them the stuff they need yeah, and the sure. nurses and everybody absolutely. else can can help them have a good time while they're in the hospital so absolutely. allow me to make a little plug here if you're if you're in between going on amazon and ordering the wig or the glasses or the fake blood or any of the things that you need to round out your costume and you have a spirit in your backyard you have an opportunity to not only go and get to see the stuff which is of paramount importance when trying to get your costume just right, but you have an opportunity to donate directly to a cause that's going to affect your local community and do so dollar for dollar, 100% right. is going to go. That right there should be a selling point that I think people should consider when they're when they're trying to pull together their costume. So and you get Amazon. the spirit experience of going in there yeah. and having a <laughs> yeah, great time. You. Like I mean, just walking through that place is fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah a lot of people say we should charge you know charge a, yeah. you know, like a fee dollar to come in, right? Yeah. Tour, yeah, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. yeah. Nah. Just, just give us some money in the, the end for the, for the hospital. Right? Ray probably already knew this, but it, they're sixty-five million dollars. They've gone to, they've raised since two thousand seven. That's it goes insane. to one hundred forty-four hospitals, and they use it for art, music, aquatic, and pet therapy, and other things that go along with the uh, hospital. For let's say that again, life. sixty-five million. Whoa. That is a ton of money, and it's just all through away. like local donations. It's all like dollars. That's one dollar, and we do round up. Obviously, round up is the big yeah. thing now. But yeah. but one dollar, two dollar, five dollar donations, and it's yeah. easy too. You can just go hashtag Spirit of Children to donate. This is nice. this is fantastic. Now that also leads me to think about the fact that I spent about forty dollars every time I walk in there. That's it. So I'm only giving one dollar. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just running the numbers. You guys do all right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just running loose math over well, here. Well, I, I'll give you an idea. Like I don't know, like how broad your listeners are but at vcu some of them are super fat (laughs) (laughs) so at vcu the children's hospital vcu the child life departments received six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars from me wow in one one year is that what you're saying no so over the last uh nine years still still. ridiculous yeah Yeah, last year i gave him eighty five thousand dollars wow vcu all right, we insane. need to shoot for a hundred this year. I, I would love to have a hundred thousand dollars. I've been promising those guys a hundred grand. All uh, right, we'll make I'm that happen. Drop, what are the trajectories average? right now? As far as can, is is 
It's COVID hard. helping or hurting? Well, it's hard to tell right now because we're still early in the oh, season. Right, Remember, yeah. most of our customers come in a little later. We do most of the business. Yeah. But we're, we're doing well. But I, I don't want that to discourage anyone oh, yeah. from coming in to donate. Right. I want people to come in. Can I just and, donate? Oh, absolutely. Go into any spirit. Drop us a dollar. Well, Stu gave us the link. Yeah, hashtag. Well, if you go in and just donate a dollar, yeah. you don't at least get some fake teeth oh, or right. something. That's You're the problem. Me. I'm not capable of going in there. Right. And just, yeah. I'm, I'm here for philanthropic. Ooh, fake blood. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll gladly, we'll gladly take a donation. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this one up because yeah. we're going to run one back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just tear down that fourth wall. Ray, thank you so much for coming uh, out, You're man. welcome. This is, really. this is awesome. I think... If you want, you can come back next week. Would you? Would you mind coming back in? Huh. We're getting closer to yeah. Halloween. Is there? Yeah. Is there more beer? Of we can course. arrange for that. Okay. We can arrange. All right. For right that. on. Doesn't have to be pumpkin either. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, no, I'm down with that. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. No, though, thank man. you guys this for is, having me. This is awesome, and it, it's something I think a lot of people have wondered about. People want to know how do these spirits show up here? You know. I, I don't know. It's just cool. Everything, everybody sees them in their town and gets excited when it shows up. Like I said, it's far better than seeing Oktoberfest beers in September, August. Yeah. So I dig it, man. I think you're, uh, you're on to something really, really cool. Right on. Thank you're you. You're doing a good thing, and I'm glad to hear about the charity. I think that is, uh, that's something I did not anticipate out of you guys, so that's, uh, that's cool. Not, it's not saying I don't think that you guys would do such things. I just never occurred to me that you sure. were doing so much good in the world. That's really awesome, man. So thank you so much for coming Welcome. out. If you guys haven't had a chance to uh, send money to uh, another charity that just spends it for a profit, then you can always Venmo us at Inside the Pallet yep, House. At Inside the Pallet House on Venmo. We'd love to take your money, and we'll use 100% of it for uh, whatever it is we need, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> you can always head over to uh, Inside the Pallet House at gmail.com. Send us subjects before each episode. We'd be glad to talk about it. Or you can find us on Facebook. Or you can always reach us at ITPH Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week. Yeah, what? and we read out REA Emily's uh, review last week, and we haven't gotten any more. And she what? killed it, and you guys need to step up because she was amazing. So keep at it. Stop sucking. Yes. Thanks for listening, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you next week. Cheers. Cheers. Peace out. That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think? <laughs>